Monday, January 31, 2022. In the German Palatines, two German members of Pharaoh's Blue Gang had been taken care of, and the Blue Gang already found the alleged perpetrators as well. As their great profilers miraculously found their IDs and driver's licenses at the crime scene. It says police officers killed during traffic stop in Kaiserslautern in the German Palatines. This is France, here's Belgium, here's Luxembourg, here's Switzerland. I repeat. Our great uniformed protectors found the IDs and driver's licenses of the suspects at the crime scene. Wow, isn't that fantastic? What a fine detective work. Incredible. Here you can read it. They found the main suspect's driving license and a national ID card. Now you can read the whole story here. Uh, yeah, here it starts. Read it yourself. It says, a 29-year-old male officer and a 24-year-old female colleague who had nearly completed her training were killed. Both were shot in the head. The investigator said the elder officer fired 14 shots, but apparently neither of the suspects was hit. Oh, probably the distance, you know, with a uh, with a hunting rifle, you can cover the distance with a, uh, which you can't do with a pistol, which is um, imprecise, you know, after 10 meters. So these guys defended themselves. You know, it's quite clear from the aggressive um, blue gang members. Forty after fourteen shots, they said, "Okay, well, that's enough. Let's take out the hunting rifle and hunt down the blue gang." Now, wait a minute. Haven't I heard this before somewhere? Of IDs and passports just flying in front of this sublime profiler's feet when some phantom Muslim terrorist left their IDs and entire passports at 9-11 in New York. Now I'll read it for you. Jet fuel can melt steel beams, but their passports survived. And in Paris, Friday the 13th, 2015, I'll read it for you here. Yeah. So the body of a Paris terror attack bomber was blown up into trillion pieces, but his Syrian passport somehow survived. In London, the 7-7 terror bombings. Yeah, truly bizarre coincidences and other points of interest. They also found the passports, same story, every time. And in Berlin, Germany, the terrorist attack on a Christmas market with a lorry, with a truck here, mowing down people, also found the passports. And all the other false flag operations by the enemy within and the uniformed gangsters who did it themselves. A common technique of the enemy within by using a signature or identifying flag of someone else than the real perpetrators. It says false flag, a horrific staged event blamed on a political enemy and used as a pretext to start a war or enact draconian laws in the name of so-called national security. False flag 
is a typical medieval expression out of the era of flags, templars and aristocratic flags showing their coats of arms which got invented during the Crusades where each noble house made themselves a coat of arms indicating their clan to be sewn on a flag to be carried into the Crusades. The enemy within will of course use this premeditated event of the two slain blue gang members in order to issue new laws providing the blue gang more tools to terrorize the German people. Pharaoh, we know your dirty games by now. When young people get their eyes shot out, get beaten up and even killed by the blue gang, then it's okay for the media who don't even talk about it. But when people retaliate the crimes of the blue gang, then Pharaoh's media shouts out loud, Oh, terrible news from Germany! All over the news, all over the planet. It says, Germany, terrible news from Kuzel and the Palatine's two police officers executed. I only forgot to say that the police officers, they shot 14 bullets before they, the people, retaliated. The name of the sublime German blue gang profiler is Mark Hoffman. Here you can read it. Mark Hoffman profiler and whom you can see everywhere all of a sudden and immediately all over the news implying that males are dangerous another expression out of their agenda to make soy boys and pink list killers out of man it's always the same what this means they already have a database in order to attack all German males who are in the crosshairs by Pharaoh's blue gang. So here, with the funny eyes, and here, he is, there he is again, Mark Hoffman. And here, this is what he says here. He says, Täter sind meist männlich, deutsch und Polizei bekannt. So this means the perpetrators are mostly male, German, and known by the Blue Gang. So here we can see whom they are aiming at. So they are aiming at German males and um, who are into the crosshairs of the Blue Gang for one reason or another. Even some minor reasons, you know, or no reason at all, only their reason, you know, no legal reasons. So it says there are male, German, and known by the blue gang. These are the ones who are going to be attacked by the system. Why? all this well the enemy within wants new pre-crime laws aiming at german males known for disobedience like participating in an illegal protest without the mouth filter on their faces and here it says in german denkpflicht Stadt Maskenpflicht, meaning obligation to think instead of mask obligation. These persons become TI, 
targeted individuals on the profiler's pre-crime wanted list. German, male, and known by the Blue Gang. Here you can see the Swiss cross. And here the octagon here as well, octagon, the Swiss octagon. Here again, the Swiss cross. And here's the Freemason checkerboard configuration. And in Switzerland, the Swiss von Grafenried high nobility tried the same with me, attacking me and my family through the nobility's Tamedia media corporation which i explain in this video here here tamedia charles von grafenried and here's the title on the same channel the swiss beast home of the devil part four breaking individuals and nations on the same channel curé charles von grafenried now this extremely powerful von Grafenried family of the Swiss high nobility made it actually mayor of the Swiss capital Bern as a fine reward for terrorizing me and my family with three young children. It says Alec von Grafenried is the actual mayor of Bern with a red tie with his vertical for the old world order and red you know, for the old world order. And here's another Swiss forum. And behind him, it says a lot of squares, circles and triangles. The triangle is the concept of three for the compass. So is the circle. You can make a circle with a compass and the square is the concept of four. So it says all over square and compass. And he's laughing, you know, smiling because things are going well. And, you know, he's the only one who knows it. You don't know this, right? Here he is, Alec von Grafenried very important family in the US in North Carolina. They married into the White House, the Bush family. And uh, there he is. Don't have yourself fooled by this lovely smile. Please don't. There he is again. And here's in a lot of strange orders. This one is called the New European Movements, the New European Swiss Movement. And this is one, the New Helvetic Swiss Order from 1914. And then is of course, he's in a lot of secret orders as well. These are the people who try to, this family, to put the pre-crime laws um, in action in Switzerland uh, using uh, me and my family you know, to do this. And he also has a website somewhere with his email. There, this is his website here. Very dangerous people. Very dangerous, pre-crime, in Switzerland, in Germany, everywhere. This state profiler, Mark Hoffman, who also calls himself an intelligence analyst, was also all over the news in Germany when a young German wanted to live off-grid in the Black Forest in southern Germany when he got harassed by four uniformed Blue Gang members whom he disarmed with a plastic toy pistol. A heroic deed 
for which he got dragged into the slime by the media and for which he got a heavy prison sentence of many years, turning four heavily armed blue gang members in their shiny uniforms into heroes by the media and victims of a brave young guy with a plastic toy gun. The media called him the Black Forest Rambo. He is the Black Forest Rambo German police in manhunt for suspect who disarmed four officers and fled into the wild armed with a bow. That was in July 2020. Here you can see it. It's uh, Schwarzwald. It means Black Forest. So it's the Black Forest Rambo. This is in German. And here he is, the profiler Mark Hoffman. He's, every time he's there, you know. I can't show you the articles because I don't want to take their cookies. I, I completely... Uh, I, I don't want that. So here again, the profiler Mark Hoffman, the profiler Mark Hoffman, here the profiler Mark Hoffman about the uh, the Black Forest Rambo every time. He's a state profiler for the pre-crime um, software and the pre-crime uh, database, you know, to lock people away for years, you know, or forever without having done anything. That's what they want. Now I'll read it for you. Pre-crime, we know you will commit a crime. You just don't know it yet. Yeah, look, the state profiler, who's every time in the news, he even has a YouTube channel with 24,000 subscribers. It says profiler, profiler Mark Hoffman. Yeah, Mark Hoffman. Geheimdienst analyst, analyst, intelligence analyst. It's about everything, eh? And look at his eyes, you know, he's like piercing, these piercing eyes. Something weird about it. And guess what? The profiler's name Mark Hoffman seems to be drawn out of a Hollywood film that shows the concept of three vertical rule in red for their original old world order. And I mean, why do they write the W like this bigger, you know, to draw the attention and like three vertical lines eh? why would they do this there's a reason and in that hollywood movie lieutenant detective mark hoffman is also playing a profiler just as our german mark hoffman profiler all over the news today profiling the flying ids together or should we better say pro-flying the IDs together? Here you can see Mark Hoffman, Detective Lieutenant Mark Hoffman from the the film Saul. There with the, with the funny W showing the uh, the concept of three vertically. You can read it. Same names, same occupation, same ID fairy tales, same false flag technique, same rape of justice, same media setup, and same total control laws coming up. But no TV Hollywood profilers around to help humanity from their pro-flying ID false flag psyops.